Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Yvette Qualley and I like to do craft tutorials on beadwork, junk journaling, paper crafting, and more. I also do completed junk journal flip throughs and in process videos. Um, today's video is an in progress video and we're going to be looking at a journal that I started and this is something new for me. It's a soft cover fabric journal. And I've done something a little different with several things on this one. So um, at this stage, I have the cover completed and I have the uh, signatures sewn in and I'm getting ready to start decorating. But I thought I would just do a quick video um, while everyone's out of the house and I have a moment. So let's go ahead and look at this cover. So on the cover, I have several different kinds of fabric that I have collaged together by hand with my hand stitching. So everything is done with the embroidery stitch or slow stitch. Then I've added some vintage buttons on here. And then all around the edge I've done a hand beaded um, trim that goes to both sides. So what I did first was I, I made the cover with all the pieces and then I backed it with a piece of fabric and there's some cotton um, batting in between. And then I did a blanket stitch all the way around the outside with the cotton thread that I used for the embroidery. And then I went back with Nymo thread and seed beads and put my edging on. So that edging goes all the way around the journal. And then you'll notice here on the spine that I've got some lace coming down and I'll show you what that, the purpose of that is. I have it tied up here at the top. And as you can see, I, I am in process here. So I have clips on there while I did the beadwork. So when we open this up, my initial thought was um, to, sorry, I have the background here on an angle. So this is not, this sits straight, but this is, uh, just fabric so it's kind of floppy on there. Um, so what I have in here are um, pages and this is using several digital kits and I order my kits printed actually from nevermorecreation17.com and Lindsay there has a challenge. Um, oh every two or three months she'll do a challenge and she has five kits that she chooses of her digital kits and then uh, you can purchase it digitally or printed and you have to use at least three of the kits in the journal and there's other specifications but I used all five kits in this journal because I couldn't decide which ones I liked so I used them all so I'm just taking the clips off here now so that we can get into this and look at what I've done so part of the challenge for me is to do something a little bit different than I've normally done. I do a lot of sewn in signatures. Uh, so I thought I would do something a little different with this. So this is one signature. I used all of the pages and some cardstock, some tea dyed paper, uh, just different things. And what I did was I was going to initially sew it through the fabric and I got thinking about that and I thought, no, because the fabric's kind of floppy. I didn't want it to wear. So what I did was I sewed all the pages together under this um, lace here. You can see where I've sewn it, just like a regular signature. And then I ran the lace down. And here at the top and the bottom, I attached a button that I sewed through the lace and pulled that lace tight over the top and put a button at the top and then I pulled the lace around and tied it at the top. So it's going to be a little different than I normally do. I'm going to see how it works out and how I like it. Uh, so far I do like it. It does make it a little bulky in the center because it is one signature, but I think that'll be fine with it being a soft cover. My plan is to over here put stitch some fabric on there for the tie and that would allow this to expand as things are added to it. So that's where we're at uh, with this one. 
I also wanted to mention in this video that I am almost near 500 subscribers and I wanted to thank those of you who have subscribed recently. I am six away at the filming of this video from 500 and when I have 500 I will be having a giveaway. So I will have a video that announces what that giveaway is once I reach 500 subscribers. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so and I hope you enjoyed this content. Um, this will be fun to complete out. The pages now are going to be decorated. I'm putting my pockets and tags and belly bands and all that in there. So um, stay tuned. We'll have a complete journal flip through of this journal when I have completed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.